Hello, and this is Sunny. Welcome back. Today my topic is subnetting a subnet. In last video, I talked about subnetting, a process how to divide a network into several smaller networks or subnets. Now we take one step further, giving a subnet network ID and a subnet mask. How can I further divide it into several even smaller networks? This process is called subnetting a subnet. First, let me demonstrate the difference between subnetting and subnetting a subnet. I draw a line and I mark the starting point with a zero and the endpoint with 255. Subnetting is like dividing the line into different parts with equal size or equal length. For example, I divide the line into two segments with equal length by inserting a point right in the middle, which I marked with the number 1 to 8, 128. If I continue to evenly divide this line into four segments with equal length, I would divide evenly the left half into two parts and the right half into two parts. I mark them with the number 64 and 192. Now the line is evenly divided into four smaller segments. Dividing a line like this is like subnetting. Now, let me talk about subnetting a subnet. We still use this line as an example. Given one of our four smaller segments, like the segment from 64 to 128, I want to divide this segment into four parts with equal size. The process is the same. I would divide this segment into two parts, first by inserting a point right in the middle between 64 to 128. Then I would divide the first half into two even smaller parts. And I will do the same on the second half, I use the numbers 80, 96, and 112 to mark these three inserting points. Now we get four equal sized smaller segments, and each segment has 16 units or 16 numbers. Therefore, dividing one of the line segments into even smaller segments is like subnetting a subnet. Now let's take a look at uh, an example. You are given a single network ID and you are asked to set up three separate networks or subnets for three different departments sharing uh, a building. Your task is to list each new subnet network ID, new subnet mask, host ID range, the number of usable host IDs, and broadcast ID. I put this example below this video. You can copy it to your document for your reference as we discuss the process. Before we start, we must understand why the given network ID is a subnet. The answer is slash 26. Look at this sunny table. Find the subnet mask slash 26 in the third row. Then I circle the whole column. From the subnet number 4, we know for sure the given network ID is one of the four subnets. Keep in mind, we will use the number 4 
in a second. Uh, let's revisit our question again. We are required or asked to get three smaller separate networks for three different uh, departments. So three is the key word. But as we know, when we divide a network into subnets, we cannot get three even-sized subnets. But we can get four subnets, or eight subnets, or 16 subnets, or 32 subnets. In this example, if we can get four subnets, it would be good enough because we can assign any three subnets for these three different departments. So we multiply four by four, we get a 16. The first number four comes from sunny table. The second number four is the number of, of subnets we try to get for these three departments. And if we try to get eight subnets for this company, then we must multiply four by eight. The result would be 32. In next step, we try to find the number 16 in the first row. The number 16 in the first row. Okay, we do see 16. And then we circle this whole new column. And all our answers lie in these new columns, actually two numbers, 16 host IDs and the subnet mask slash 28. Now the final step is to make a table to list new network ID, subnet mask, host ID range, the number of usable host IDs, and the broadcast ID. The process is the same as subnetting as we demonstrated in last video. So we speed up a little bit. Let's do the new subnet mask for each uh, subnet first because it is easy. They are all slash 28. We are done with the subnet mask. Remember, the original subnet mask is slash 26. Let's move to the number of usable host IDs. From a sunny table, the total host IDs is 16. But we must uh, subtract 2. And we get 14 usable IDs for each subnet. Why do we sub subtract 2 from 16? Because the first host ID is, is reserved for network ID and the last ID is reserved for broadcast ID. They cannot be assigned to a specific host. We are done with the usable host ID column. We move to the network ID column. First network ID is original network ID, which is 125.23.200.64. Let's just focus last number. And we will use the number 16 again from the sunny table to get next new network ID. We get next network ID by simply adding 16 to its previous one. Thus, the second network ID is 80, the third one is 96, the fourth one is 112. Here, I only focus on the last octet or last number because the first three numbers stay the same. We are done with the network ID. We move to the broadcast ID. The last host ID is reserved for its broadcast ID. Therefore, the first broadcast ID is 79, the second one is 95, the third is 111, the last one is 127. We are almost there. One last column, the host ID range. A subnet host ID range is any IDs, host IDs between the network ID and the broadcast ID. Therefore, the first range is 
um, from 65 to 78. The second range is 82 to 94. The third one is 97 to 110. The fourth one is 113 to 126. That's all. We get all answers. We can assign any three subnets out of four for these three different departments. Of course, one subnet is wasted. That's the downside of subnetting. No biggie. In summary, subnetting a subnet is similar to subnetting. Compared with subnetting, subnetting a subnet takes only one more step to find the column we need in Sunny table. Once we identify the, the column, the rest of subnetting process is exactly the same as subnetting. I put one similar question below for your practice. I also provide the answer below for your reference. If you have questions, please feel free to leave your comments or ask me questions. I would be happy to help you. Thank you very much and see you next time.